In this video, we'll see how to create model analysis. Let's begin by importing a model. Click on Import Model. Double click on the file to load this model. Automatic Connections dialog shows up upon model import. For this model, let's use the default gap and penetration tolerances and resolution to normal and create automatic connections. Connections are now created. Let's see if this assembly is fully connected or not. Click on Find and Show Disconnected Group of Parts. It says there are no disconnected groups, which is good. The next step is to apply material for these parts. Select Assemblies folder in the project tree. Apply material. Select aluminum and apply to all parts. Material setup is complete and uh, the material assigned is shown next to the part name in the project tree. The next step is to create model analysis. Click on model analysis and uh, set the number of modes to extract to 15 and hit OK. Let's create boundary conditions for this model analysis. We'll create an immobile support. Select the bottom faces of these legs as shown here. Hit OK to create the boundary condition. Setup is now complete. Hit Solve to run this model analysis. The results are available now. Right mouse click to view the info for these results. It just took six seconds to solve this model analysis for this uh, assembly. And also it lists the time taken for each operation and also lists, lists what type of analysis it is, which is model here. Close this. Plot displacement magnitude to view the frequencies. So all the extracted 15 frequencies are shown. Play the animation to view the mode shapes for each frequency. Cycle between the frequencies. SimSolid also calculates mode participation factors, effective mass and cumulative mass for all the modes extracted. Click on mode participation factors option uh, to view the table for all these uh, calculated values. The contributions for each direction are shown for mode participation factors, effective mass, and cumulative mass. And uh, the contribution for each direction can be plotted as a histogram. Select the direction of interest and click on Show Histogram. This chart can be saved as a picture file. Close this. And all the calculated values can be saved to a CSV file if interested. SimSolid also allows exporting model displacements for uh, certain locations to a UNV file. For that, we need datum points. Let's import datum points first. Select Assembly and uh, Import Datum Points. Import from CSV. Select the file. Change the units to meters to fit the model units. And hit OK to create a datum point set. Let's use this datum point set and uh, export model displacements. Open Pick Info. All the imported points are shown in the graphics area here. And click on Save to UNV to export the model displacements for all these points to a UNV file. 